Order now, supply is limited. <gasps> limited? Do you have any of those Intel knocks left? Yeah, a couple. It's the end of an era, my friends. Intel has decided to pull the plug on the Intel NUC Mini PC for good. We have decided to stop direct investment in the next unit of compute business and pivot our strategy to enable our ecosystem partners to continue NUC innovation and growth. Surprising? For me? Eh, not really. I knew it was the beginning of the end when NUC performance, what I like to call the consumer NUC line, was reported as being killed off early last year by Fanless Tech. Now these mini PCs have never been cheap, but the performance minis were the more affordable options while still keeping the unsurpassed build quality and reliability in the 4x4 inch mini PC space. So what happened? But before that, the EaseUS Data Recovery Wizard app is very simple to use and can help you recover your lost data, whether it's on your internal drive, USB storage, or SD card. It also has support for repairing damaged photos and videos. Check out the free trial in the video description to find out what it can recover on your storage drives. So some cool dudes at Intel wanted to shrink the PC from ginormous desktops to something just a fraction smaller. They came up with the idea of using Intel's mobile laptop processors paired with laptop sodium memory and the smallest storage tech at the time. The 4x4 inch mini PC was born and called the next unit of computing, or NUC for short, which I've never been a fan of. You've got to give a company like Apple credit for having a cool sounding brand name like Mac Mini, which is, well, it's great. You know exactly what it is. I think the reason the NUC is being killed off is due to a combination of factors. The tech industry is in a sales slump at the moment, which certainly doesn't help. And if you've seen my Intel NUC documentary, which is linked at the end of the video, the plan from the start was to introduce a new platform to the big players like Dell and Lenovo and let them take charge. Only problem was, they weren't interested. As far as I know, they never adopted Intel's 4x4 inch format. Instead, they made their own overpriced mini PCs. But that's the business segment for you, where the cost is often secondary to the usage case and support network. Anyway, so it was up to Intel to go it alone, and they made the surprising move of entering the computer business with this fine piece of kit. Fast forward 10 years later, and now you've got literally hundreds of approximately 4x4 inch mini PCs from various Chinese manufacturers available. So in a way, the platform finally succeeded and Intel got what it wanted all along. The only problem for me at least is the varying degrees in quality and support of those products. Neither have matched Intel's by anyone really. Those that claim any other 4x4 inch mini PC matches a NUC in reliability build quality or software support has never bought one before, period. Of course, before I get the, well, my NUC died in three months comments, well, yes, they're not invincible and develop faults or die. Show me a product that doesn't. But the many, many Intel NUCs I went through over the years and worked with had a very low failure rate and many other NUC users have said the same thing. I still have a couple of 10 year old NUCs that refuse to die, like this one. There was a reason Intel NUX came with 3 year warranties and were certified for 24 7 use. How many competitors can make the same claim? And this will be sorely missed, if not by you, then by me, as the only other Intel CPU based device that comes close in build, service and support is the ASUS PN line. Problem is, the 1 year warranty sucks ass, and so does the fan noise, being the loudest 4x4 inch mini PC I've ever tested. It's not something to be proud of, but I digress. Another likely reason NUCs have been dumped is due to sales just not being that impressive. There are no numbers, but again in the documentary, you'll see that while NUCs may have been a massive hit for a modest company, for a billionaire behemoth like Intel, it was pocket change. So later you had the spin-off enthusiast and extreme lines introduced, which were a way to try and reach a larger market with the NUC brand, targeting content creators and gamers but they were niche, overpriced, with little to no hype behind them from the tech press and the public in general. I'm sure you've heard the phrase, there are no bad products, only bad prices. I disagree. There are plenty of bad products that can't be saved with a price cut. Now I'm not saying those were bad products, but the Extreme line especially was priced much too highly for the average gamer to care. And so I'm not surprised by its untimely end. 
Out of the 4x4 inch knucks, my favourite was Nuck 8 Performance Bean Canyon. Intel increased the power limit from 15 watts to 28, which saw a massive generational boost to performance. Both CPU and graphics had huge gains. The i3 and i5 were great. The i7 was, um, not so much for the dollars, noise and heat it generated. But Nuck 8 had great port selection, Thunderbolt, and overall, just got most things right at the time. It was also the topic of one of my first YouTube videos, which like most of my early videos was crap, so I've removed it long ago. But three or four people in the world liked it. Another favourite of mine was Nuck 11 Enthusiast Phantom Canyon. It was the mini PC I always wanted. Small, powerful, yet quiet, and didn't run hot. It was the coolest piece of tech in recent memory. Previous gen Hades Canyon was also impressive, using an Intel CPU with AMD Radeon graphics and a huge amount of ports. But for me, Phantom Canyon with its RTX 2060 really took the cake. What about Nuck 12 Enthusiast Serpent Canyon you ask? Well, there's a reason the price dropped here in Oz by around 40% since launch. It's hot, loud, and power hungry. And wasn't the Phantom Canyon successor I and others were looking for. Another spin-off 4x4 inch Nuck, Isla Canyon, aka the Vacuum Cleaner, was another interesting Intel AMD GPU combination that failed to deliver. Hot, loud, and, well, same issue. One cool thing about the 4x4 inch Intel Nucks is that they came with a pristine aluminium alloy shell, which made them rugged to carry around, and gave a very premium feel. This lasted all the way from launch to the final consumer Nuck 11 Panther Canyon, and then the metal shell was silently dumped for a plastic one, while still charging the same price. I kicked up a stink about this, and also that Nux started being sold with our power cords in various regions. On top of that, when the Nuck 11 performance was killed off, all innovation in the 4x4 inch space went out the window. Nux were all about the bleeding edge, the newest tech. Nuck 12 and 13 Pro didn't have any bleeding edge new features, like Apart from a case downgrade and a CPU upgrade, nothing. In fact, they both used DDR4 while AMD Ryzen Minis had made the switch to DDR5. Whether it provided an improvement or not was irrelevant. The Intel NARC had lost its edge and was being beaten in the bleeding edge by competitors. What? All this, together with a lack of improvement in fan noise over the years, really soured the Intel NARC brand and products for me. The last 4x4 inch one I liked was Nuck 11 Performance from 2021, and the last one I geeked out over was Phantom Canyon. The extreme line changed form factor three times, none which were very impressive given the price tag. I never considered them Nucks either, as they were ginormous compared to the regular units, but I'm sure there were three or four fans of them somewhere out there in the world. More power to you! I had little interest in them from their reveals, and looks like the market didn't either. I didn't see the point when you could build an ITX gaming PC for much less. Sure, it would be bigger, but not by a ginormous amount. And with the monologue out of the way, I just want to take the time to acknowledge a product line I sincerely loved, and I'm sad to see it gone. I've been a vocal critic of Intel Nux for years, with my only intention of the product I loved being made better, so comments defending bad decisions always baffled me and now they're even more irrelevant than my past criticisms. The Intel NUC was my introduction to the world of mini PCs, and my journey will continue. But like everything in life, all good things must come to an end. So, let's have a moment's silence for our fallen comrade that will be missed. And with that, I'd like to hear your Intel NUC stories in the comments. That's all for this one, and you can find out more about the creation of this great little mini PC right here. Cheers!